Oh. Ooh. Hello. Sorry. This is the camera messed up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I, this is my room's hella messed up. I have a bike right here. My room's my room's messy right now, but we can work with it. That's, that's a lot better, I guess. I don't even know at all. So I'm back on YouTube. It, it feels fuck. <laughs> I cursed. No, I have a new mask if you didn't know already because literally every time I get a new mask if you've seen my TikToks you can literally scroll through them and you're gonna you're gonna see a new mask once in a while a lot some of them got lost I don't know where they're at but yeah this is me this is actually what I wear I don't know why I wore it by the way I got Joji merch Joji Joji this is me I got a ring light it's it's tiny I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna bother showing you that. <laughs> and also, webcam. No more using a phone. But you like my phone, guys? You like my phone, guys? What's up? Anybody watching the video of Narcotic and I still got the intro down. Hopefully you like the whole new intro, the whole new look to the channel, the whole Vaporwave look. And by the way, I hope you enjoyed the banner because my cousin made the drawings of me. Thank you so much, Kezlo. I'll stop asking you to draw me and stuff like that <laughs> for the rest of the year. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you like it. Uh, it's a good way to come back, making a whole new look and all this other stuff. And by the way, have a new mic and I have a new editing software. The old one sucked. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Well, you won't even know about enjoying this anyways. <laughs> A lot of things are going to be happening on the channel, of course, we're going to keep the whole, the same old, same old gaming, commentary, reaction, whatever else I had thought of, I forgot what it was. And by the way, for the commentary part, we're bringing back trends, okay? We're going to bring back the trash trends on social media and then another series I used, I did back in like three, well, three years ago called Exposing YouTubers on a whole new level. It wasn't named that back then, but... You know, that's how it's going to be named. I also want to a playlist of it in the future, even though I don't like the two videos that I made at first on the same person, because you can understand what I, I was saying, but they're going to be there. I'm not going to delete them. I'm proud of what I made, kind of. <laughs> and as for gaming wise, I think I'm going to bring back this series called If I Die, The Video Ends, where if I, pl I play a game and if I lose or something like that, the video is just going to end right then and there, outro and all. Uh, so that's gonna that's gonna make a comeback. I, I actually like enjoying doing that. It's like a challenge really um, I'm gonna be doing Gmod videos again. We're bringing back jailbreak Okay, we're gonna bring that back and we're gonna add in trouble in Terrace town and some other Gmod games are along those lines because actually it's entertaining I like playing with like random people. I, I like playing with people in games like when I record it's a lot fun than just doing it solo and we're bringing back Rainbow Six Siege because I have finally people to play with, all right? About freaking time, okay? And we're gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna play how I used to back in 2016 where I was trash, but I could manage some here and there. Where, you know, the whole team killing situations, if you don't know what I'm talking about, about that, um, you know, I have a playlist of Rainbow Six Siege videos, you know, why don't, why don't you make my Rainbow Six Siege videos popular most popular uh, video on my channel because I don't want the booty of Widowmaker to be the most popular video on my channel why is that the most popular video on my channel it has 366 views I'm sure you can beat that right in 2021 hopefully please share the video with people and make everybody watch it repeatedly watch my rainbow videos or one of them I don't care what it is just watch any video make it more than 366 I don't want the booty of Widowmaker to be my most viewed video what if my nephew watched that video <laughs> but yeah new people are coming to the channel and by the way when I mentioned about the whole uh, exposing youtubers on a whole new level one of the people I made a video on on that video might be featured on the channel once again but not exposing wise just you know we're gonna just play games and just talk and of course I'm gonna bring up the old situations be like what happened to the after like like the aftermath of me making those videos that you couldn't understand because I was stuttering so much and stuff like that but you know it's you know it's worth the the recap and yeah the only reason why I made two videos on that dude because he brought me views <laughs> even though I was I had more subs than him by like what 20 by 10 
I don't know. And also, I'm not going to schedule any more videos. Okay, no more posting videos only on Saturday. I'm going to just post it whenever I'm actually finished with the video. We're at at least uh, how good I feel like the video is finished or something like that. So no more videos on one day every week. It's just going to be videos randomly on throughout the week or whatever. Not daily posting either. I'm not doing that. <laughs> And I might even live stream on Twitch again. Um, I might do like two more months of Twitch to see how that goes. And then eventually I'm going to try YouTube once to see how that goes and see what I don't know. Just see which one I feel more like see which one is better for me to do or what I feel better about doing using. And by the way, follow me on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. All right. Just putting that out there. All right. It's in the bio. You can see in the banner. Or whatever so there's that and i feel like i covered pretty much everything but one thing that i don't really feel like talking about well just never really thought about talking about is the fact that um the reasons of me leaving youtube randomly probably like even their social medias every social media as a whole really or whatever uh even though it's not really much of a big deal you know we all need to break off social media once in a while but <laughs> when it comes to youtube um for one of the little reasons, one of the new reasons and stuff like that, little reasons here and there, um, is the editing software that I used to use when I started you doing YouTube on PC. It was working good, and then like out of nowhere, it started buffering and crashing on me, and it would it would really be frustrating. Cause either I'll be like starting off trying to edit a video, all motivated and stuff, or almost done or halfway done, and the editing software would crash and not save anything I've done. So I quit. The leaf video was a struggle and even though it looks like even though i did very little edits here and there it was a struggle <laughs> to get it going it was really hard to do because the software kept crashing on me and i managed to hold in there and use what little effort i had to edit the rest of the video <laughs> and stuff like that also um since 2020 people have been more sensitive i guess if you could say about like words being said in jokes so i was like yeah i'm not sure what i should put on my channel i don't want to get cancel culture on me even though i'm too small to get noticed on youtube or so anything at all <laughs> um yeah that's there's videos that are probably gonna rub people the wrong way i must still post them or edit them and whatever probably just censor out words i guess i don't know or probably leave stuff out i don't know <laughs> there's even stuff in my old videos that i probably left out because people well most of those <laughs> uh yeah i yeah i don't know but like there's stuff i left out before in the past and uh i guess i'm gonna have to do it again and today who knows and the whole scheduling of videos sucked it was it, it sucks because there is i i rushed videos out like they weren't even really finished to my liking and I'm pretty sure I messed up on some edits. Like there's probably things that weren't in the right spots at the at, at the point at the times. So yeah, no more scheduling videos. It, it doesn't motivate me either. It just it, it just forces me out to just post anything. And the main reason like I always leave is like it, it's always happened. Like it's, I think since starting YouTube, really like <laughs> uh. I stopped posting for a while at first I was having issues with my friends I didn't want him in my videos or something like that I kept and my friends were like saying yo you let's, let's just be friends with him and stuff like that and they would ruin my video clips so I stopped posting at, at the moment every other time and then we became cool again because he changed uh some some petty ways he was being and then uh after that you know I had a toxic girlfriend in 2018 still with her in 2019 after I broke with her twice and stuff like that I still hung out with her because she still wanted to keep me around and you know you know make me feel like nothing and then um shoo uh, more issues with people friends all this other stuff uh and the worst part about it was <laughs> uh it was always when i showed them how i look like i showed them my face and i don't necessarily i don't really like show my face to people even like with the people I have friends I have now and like even though how long I knew them for I've just never like shown my face especially like before COVID I had like I, I always wore I wore the mask in public so I didn't like people looking at me they always stare at me 
I don't know why people would just stare at me and I that's when I just started putting on the mask in public and stuff like that uh, and I never like taking it off like I just don't like showing my face to people even like even if I have friends from like five years ago whatever like probably the only way I'll just show my face is in person that's probably just gonna be how it is now because I just I don't know I just hate showing my face and I'll never do a face reveal and if I could go back I would put on like a full-on mask where like you can't even see my hair or something like that like <laughs> That's what I feel like doing, but if I do it now, if you're gonna be like, oh man, I seen how you look before, why are you doing this? And it would, it, it, it irritates me when people say that. And seeing those comments, I'm just like, please tell me you never screenshot a picture of me with that. It always gets me. Like, I'm not worried. Well, I, there's, there's people who stalk me, at least one person that came, at least one person I feel like is stalkery. Uh, yeah, I just don't like showing my face. No, I don't like giving off my personal information about me, my life. Like, it's just not me. I just don't like doing it. It's just it, it's weird to me. Just never like doing it and stuff. I like keeping everything anonymous and private with like everything in my life or whatever. There might be a time where I might not. Nah, probably not. This is like the only time I'll ever like talk about stuff like this. Um, but yeah, so it's just with people I don't like show my face and I'll never show more of my face than what you see now. And that's about it. So yeah, I'm done with this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please do hit the subscribe button, uh, hit notifications to all because we be posting randomly now and make sure to leave a like because I really would appreciate it. It would mean a lot, you know, boost my confidence of posteriority. <laughs> that sounds stupid. And make sure you drink your water, eat your vitamins, not the whole Colgan vitamins and wear your mask. And also, if you have a big nose, uh, stuff that nose in your mask, okay? You can manage, you can do it, all right? And if it's hard to breathe, uh, just remember, I freaking waterboarded myself wearing a mask, and also I wear chokers while wearing a mask. <laughs> that is all. Peace. Wake up. How do you feel? Wake up.